Hello everybody, welcome back to another installment of my Power Director tutorial series. And tonight what we're going to do is we're going to look at adding still photos and separate audio files and mixing them together with other audio and sound files and show you how to coordinate all that into a video. So one of the easiest things to display this to you would be let's make a slideshow of some various pictures let's add some audio and some sound files to play along with the pictures so this is something that you might want to do often if you have a if you go to a wedding or a graduation or you just go to the park one day and you and your wife take a bunch of pictures together and you just want to add it into a, a slideshow movie that you could upload to Facebook or to YouTube or to send to your family members. Uh, it's kind of a neat little thing to do. So this is a, a, a nice concept to show on how to do these. So let's get into it. So as we showed in the previous videos, go to Import Media Files and go to where you have your pictures saved at in my case I'm gonna to go to pictures and I'm just gonna to go to car show so let's make a slideshow of all these different pictures that we took at the car show so I'm gonna take and I'm gonna select all the all the uh, pictures at once and just hit open It'll put all the photos here into my library and what we're going to do is you're going to think about it this way. Okay, what what picture do I want to come first and then second and then third and so on and so on. So go ahead and lay out your pictures first. We'll worry about the audio last. Okay, so um, I'm going to pick this one. And you just bring it down here to the to the uh, number one timeline here where it shows the, the movie clip. And you can put video files on this timeline or you can put uh, still pictures as well. So just images. Um, so let's just continue to lay out our pictures here. And if you notice... In the last video, Power Director Tutorial Series number two, I mentioned that there's a setting in your preferences where, <clears throat> excuse me, where you can, here, durations. And I mentioned that if you have a bunch of pictures that you want to add to your timeline and you kind of get a feel for how long you want your video to be you can set this duration so right now it's at five seconds so if you notice if you hover over one of the pictures it says duration five seconds and same thing with the first one duration five seconds so it's gonna it's gonna automatically apply five second duration to every picture you drag into your timeline so if we want if we want our video to be one minute long then we could use six pictures at 10 seconds duration or we could use 12 pictures at five seconds duration so we have two four six eight 10, 12. Okay, so we'll take this photo and remove it from the library. So, we perfect. So we have 12 pictures at 5 second duration. That should give us 12 times 5 equals 1 minute. So our video length will be 1 minute long. So that works out rather nicely. So we'll continue to pull our pictures down here and you can see when the blue line shows up there it shows you that it's exactly matched up with the ending time of the picture before it so there won't be any 
There won't be any jumps or skips or anything between pictures. As long as you get that little blue line. So we'll just keep moving these in here. So we get all 12 in. And another thing you can do is if you notice this little yellow time bar right here up on top, you can scale this to make it read any units that you want. So you can you can stretch it out so that maybe it's a little bit easier to read. And you notice the pictures are getting uh, larger on the timeline. And that would be because we're stretching the resolution of the time bar out. So, I mean, if you look if you look at it right now as it is, you know, you can figure out what each one of those dashes mean. And the time, the dash that goes with the time displayed, like if this says two minutes thirty, two minutes thirty seconds and four frames I think anyways two minutes thirty seconds it's always the dash right before the time that lines up with the time that's displayed so this little yellow dash right here corresponds to this time this little dash corresponds to this time so if you stretch this out just a little bit, then we'll move our little pointer to get it out of our way. And you could see that right here is 25 seconds. So we have one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So each one of these dash marks is five seconds. So if we're here at 50 seconds, 55, 60. So we can see that our, our video is indeed one minute in length. Perfect. So now we have our pictures. And if we just hit play, you can see that the picture will display for five seconds. It'll go to the next one. It'll go to the next one, and so on. So there, that's cool. Okay, so in just that short amount of time, we already made a slideshow of our pictures. Very, very cool. Now, this applies to anything. If you're making a video and you want to cut the video and insert some pictures and have some voice playing behind the pictures, what I'm showing you here is will exactly apply to that. So any situation where you want to add still pictures and have audio play behind it, you can do what I'm showing you here. So now these pictures don't have any sound behind them. So what if we wanted to add some music? So we go to import media files and Let's see if we can find some audio somewhere in here. Do -do -do. So we got audio tracks. And let's just pick one. So now we have our audio track imported to our library and we can grab this <clears throat> and we'll put it right here on the sound. Now let me tell you one thing, okay? You don't have to put it right underneath of these pictures here, although it's easiest to keep track of if you do it this way. But 
you could put it on number two's audio. Um, you, you could add more. You can add more uh, tracks by going to Add Tracks, and you can add one video track position. Where do you want it? Like, do you want it below track two? Above track one, above track two. Okay, so we'll put it below track two, and we'll add one video track and one audio track. Both of them are going to show up below track two. So essentially, it's going to make a track three. And here we go. We got one video file track and one audio file track. So to do that again, we right click. We go to add tracks, add one, add one. That, now we have a number four. So you could take, you could take this picture, and this is just kind of showing, showing you a concept that if you have a blank space here on track one, it's still going to show you a picture because you have that picture corresponding on track two. So, see how that works? Pretty neat, huh? So, this is also a way that you can overlay things. Like I think in the video that I showed you before, we had picture in picture. And that's the concept that you could use here if you have, if you take, Let's just copy this picture and we'll paste it. Oh, wait, wherever you have this marker is where it's going to paste into. So let's move that marker, hit paste. And then we'll take this and we'll line it up exactly with picture number four. Okay, now these two pictures are going to display at the same time. So as I showed in the last video, you can resize this picture and now both of them will show at the same time. So this one only shows one picture because there's only one picture. Same here, there's only one picture on track one. Here there's two pictures and you resize the picture on track two to show you both pictures at the same time because if you put two pictures on two different tracks lined up at the same time then they actually both do show so now what we can do is we have our video here and we can pull in our audio and we can put it on either audio track that we want. One, two, three, or four. Does not matter. So we'll go ahead and add it in. Add it in on track number one. And we can grab the ending here. And we can resize it right down to the end of our last picture. And we'll hit trim only. So now we have a series of pictures in a slideshow and we have music that's going to play along with the slideshow.
So, as you can see, now it's a nice slideshow video. It's got some audio music behind it to kind of make the mood with the pictures and everything's just kind of nicer with music. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. Um, in the next video, we'll probably maybe add some transitions between these pictures to make things flow a little bit better. You can add some fade-ins and fade-outs with the audio. Uh, that's probably what we'll look at in, uh, in uh, tutorial number four. So, again, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you want to like and subscribe, that would be great. There's definitely more videos to come. If you want to shoot me a comment or a personal message and let me know uh, what you would like to see in the future with PowerDirector, uh, I'll be glad to uh, take your request into consideration. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.